who's back. So today I'm going to be knocking out uh, a few of the extra things that needed to be done, which is I want to replace one of the LED lights on the back. That was a little funky. Got the new plate. I have my lap seal. Um, got to scrape off all the dry rotted uh, lap seal that's up there and then reposition that with the uh, new stuff. So just a few nuances. That's what I'm going to be trying to do. We'll see what happens. All right, so I successfully changed this out. Uh, so this has running lights and brake lights on it, and that is working. And I changed out my driver's license uh, light the other day, and I noticed that my um, parking lights or whatever weren't working, and turns out I blew a fuse. So pop the fuse in, everything's working now. And I got rid of these splice connections these kind of Y splice connections, I got rid of that and uh, did everything with solder and shrink wrap. So I got that all done. So hopefully if that was the fuse issue, then that's done with and don't have to worry about that. So I think next we're gonna take a look at the top and we're gonna see what it's gonna take to remove some of this old uh, lap seal. All right, so Here's the lap seal going down the whole trailer, also around the little vent. And you can just see that this is, uh, just comes right off. It's just kind of falling apart. It's a little mushy right there from water sitting there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove all that. I might wait until tomorrow morning when it's nice and cool. Uh, because it's a little getting a little toasty up here, but uh, yeah, we need to clean this up and get this all sealed up correctly. So remember a long time ago when I had to rewire that car? What becomes of that is wires and wires and wires and wires. And did I mention some wires? I'm trying to see If I could use something like this to bury the wires that I'm going to be using on the uh, trailer jack. This of course is way bigger than I need, but I honestly don't know when I'd ever use this big of a, of a thing. So we'll see what options I have here, but See if we could put that on. It's kind of big. And honestly, it's probably not the right stuff really to use. I kind of like this idea of the soft. Maybe just get some long shrink wrap, shove the whole thing in there, and heat it down, cinch it down, if you will. So, I'm going to probably at least test this, get it wired up, make sure it's all good and then uh, start over. Of course, it's Sunday, so I don't have access to shrink wrap. But 
we'll double check that. There's only one, one or two cool places in town that I could actually get that stuff in long, like four foot, six foot lengths. So we'll see what we come up with. Gentle as a baby. I was missing this. Three dollars and ninety-five cents, and a eight thirty-second Allen three-quarter inch. All right, there she goes. Everything measured out, ready to go. Once I do a test, we will make some permanent marks to make it easier just to throw these up and hop on this thing. So my buddy Seth called, or uh, yeah, he called, texted a few things. My schedule's been a little crazy, but uh, he was saying I should really winch this thing on the on the vehicle, on the trailer. And uh, 
we're gonna look into that. So there's not really any places to hook up on this car, so that's my biggest issue is with all the fiberglass on the front, might not be anywhere to grab. So we will see. But in any case, this is officially done, except for the electrical stuff. We'll get to that tomorrow, and then we'll call it a day on this puppy. All right, so I didn't realize Harbor Freight had uh, stuff available, so I was able to get it today. And we got everything all nicely done. Got the uh, connector. And so uh, we're gonna finish this thing up and then we're done. So have a great day.